please welcome Genesis AI. Hey guys. <laughs> I'll give you guys a quick story of how we got started. So we discovered that AI models are currently developed in silos. There's no connectivity. People are reinventing what they already has been creating. This is a big problem, costing billions of dollars each year. It's very hard to find open source AIs, judge quality of those, and then it takes many, many hours to actually implement these open source AIs. So we came up with a solution. We are working on a protocol that enables distinct AI models to work together. Sort of constitution, bunch of ifs and statements that specify how two very distinct AI models can communicate. For example, how you can have someone's speech recognition model working with someone's translation model to produce speech translation. So all these AI models have different ways of providing and receiving data, right? So we're working on a protocol to enable connectivity. And on top of this protocol, we are building a marketplace for AI products and services. So idea is a website that enables companies to buy and sell AI technologies at scale. So I'll give you guys a quick uh, rundown of how the platform works. This is one example of how you will hear, for example, some of speech recognition working with sentiment analysis to produce speech sentiment analysis. Our goal is to enable hundreds of AI models or ideally millions of AI models all working together, all learning each other to do something that's impossible to do individually. For example, here we have six AI tools on our platform this is the one that enables different AIs to work together. For example, I can use speech recognition, I can upload audio file here, then I can add another model, for example, sentiment analyzer, and then I can I will have sentiment analysis of the speech. Or another natural language processing tool. So all of these are targeted on the asset management space. For example, here I can type Brexit, and the software will give me list of assets that will be affected by Brexit. So you don't need to spend too much time thinking about, for example, how will my portfolio be affected by Brexit. And here are some common suspects, Airbus, Commerzbank, large bank in Germany, Sanofi, large European company, and so on. So our vision is to build single most valuable technologies that the mankind has ever seen. Our goal is to lay foundation for artificial general intelligence. And we believe the best way to get there is to have hundreds of thousands of AI models interconnected with each other. We, be, we are contrarian in this in terms of most people, when they are thinking about building AGIs, they are thinking about oh, just one AI tool that can do everything. But we believe it's a wrong approach. An analogy is how human mind and human body works. We have hundreds of different body parts. Each of them are good at doing one or maybe few things, right? But all of them are interconnected. And as interconnected, they're able to do pretty much anything. So our team, there's myself and David, we went to school together. I used to work at Bridgewater Associates, largest hedge fund in the world. I did investing in trading there. My co-founder, senior software engineering at Google, computer science. Mena is currently doing Harvard physics PhD. Alex, Alex did not go to Harvard, no one is perfect, but, he's, <laughs> uh, but he worked with us on multiple different projects and he has worked at three different AI. So we also have a great team of advisors. We have people who had multi-billion dollar exits. We have a former dean of engineering at MIT and few professors at Harvard Computer Science and Harvard Business School as well. So our competitive advantage is quality of AI products and services on our platform is around 300% higher than anything else out there. How do we do that? We do that by enabling hundreds of different expert AI models to work together. We also enable 
to average output of different models. For instance, if you average output of multiple models, you usually get better accuracy rates than if you relied on a single one of them. Or if you merge best-in-class feature recognition model with best-in-class sentiment analysis model, you get better models than if, you, if it was a company who was trying to recreate both of these models by themselves. Market size is one of the largest industry and one of the industries that can cure diseases, that can eradicate poverty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, but this is one of the largest markets out there and it's growing extremely fast. So where are we are now? We started around a year ago. We have 25 companies on the buy side right now and we have 20 companies on the supply side. These are companies who are looking to monetize their AI technologies. If you are running an AI startup and are looking for additional ways to monetize your company and your technology, we'll have to speak after, after the event. It's a presentation point. So our business model is very simple. We take 30% fee from marketplace transactions. So this is win 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 for everyone. Everyone makes money, suppliers makes money, buyers saves money, we make money, so this is win win for everyone. So where we are now and what stage we are. So we did one round of fundraising when we started, around a half a million in USD. We are doing our second round, or pre-seed round right now. We are doing equity crowdfunding, which is basically the same thing as Kickstarter, but you are selling company shares instead of selling a product. We have over 800 investors right now. So if you guys want to check it out, here is the link. Thank you very much. I'm looking forward to uh, answering questions. Thank you. Uh, things like Data Robot H2O, essentially uh, playing in the same space or, or no? Yeah, Data Robot can be our customer on the supply side, actually. So they have tools that help, for example, banks to uh, find information as fast as possible, right? So they can be our supplier, actually. Yeah. So are you going to provide the infrastructure, the services? Exactly, them? exactly. So, so nobody has to have them. Give you the, the services and you host them? So that's, that's the idea, exactly. And basically, we enable people to monetize their AI products and services, and we also enable them to improve quality of AI products and services. For example, let's say, going back to speech recognition plus translation. Say I have great translation, but I have pretty bad speech recognition. So instead of me continuing running this bad speech translation because my speech recognition is pretty bad. I will use my translation model, connect to better speech recognition, and I'll have better products. Okay. Um, as an economics major, how did you get wrapped up in all this fancy tech stuff? Yeah, so, uh, so when I was at Bridgewater, uh, uh, I realized that I wanted to use AI tools, but I didn't want to learn computer science behind it. And there were so many people like that. Yeah, learning Python and uh, uh, C++ and so on is fun, but it takes so much time, debugging is frustrating, and so on, right? So everyone wanted to know AI, but don't go, need to go through with hundreds of hours of learning to code. So I decided to solve this problem by creating a platform that will enable non-technical people to use the AI. They can find better investment opportunities, minimize the risks, and so on. That's a good question. I was economics major, and uh, it was a long, long journey from there to AI. Yeah, I'm, I'm an econ major too. So. <laughs> yeah, good. People on your market versus directly. So uh, we are starting with working with companies who are in the first phases of business to business sales. So if you are already Microsoft and you have billions of dollars in revenue, you probably will not join our platform at this stage. But there are so many individuals, PhDs, professors, startups who developed AI tech and are struggling with monetizing. And we bring buyers, they bring technology, so it's great for area. So it's good for a lot of them. Exactly. Right now. Yeah, exactly. Do you do any like quality control 
That's a great question. Yeah, we do. So right now we do it mostly manually. So we call it experts reviews. Ideally, we want to automate that. Ideally, it would be something like buyer posts a problem. There will be, let's say, five different AI suppliers competing forces, and whoever provides best accuracy rates will end up getting the job rewarded. So, great. Thank you, guys. Thank you.